Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so, uh, so this is a video on how to change your nitrogen tank on your glove box. Yeah, that's me, complete COVID here, here. Right. Uh, so, if you look at this gauge here, you see that it's at the last red mark. Right, it's 100 PSI. Inside it's PSI is what our gauge is here. So once you see it hit this last mark, that's when it's time to change. All right, so we're at 100 PSI. We want to get rid of this tank before it's reaches zero. Um, so first thing we're gonna do, I have the box light on, but it's, it could be off, doesn't matter. Uh, but you wanna turn off circulation, all right? That's the first thing to do. Uh, then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna turn our box pressure, you go to the menu, and uh, you can alter from here. Our upper limit's gonna be uh, 10 bar, 10 millibar. So you wanna go ahead and just enter 10. And our lower limit's gonna be one, okay? And what you want is, up here it says 2.6. You want this, you can use the pedal that's down here. You just slightly step on it, and you can go back up here. You just wanna keep doing that until this says eight. Don't wanna overshoot, because I had to vacuum off, so we're gonna, there we go, 8.4, that's fine. 8.3, 8.2, right? You can see it's at about eight right now. So that's what we want. Um, the next thing that we're gonna go to then is we're gonna come over back to our tanks. Now we can actually change the tank. You need this pressure of eight out of the box, something with helping it to stay. Right, so what you're gonna do is first you're gonna close this valve. We never touch the actual regulator itself, you just the open valves. So we're gonna close this valve all the way. Okay, nice and tight. And then you're gonna close your tank nice and tight all the way. Okay, make sure you change this to empty. Right, we bring it up to the loading dock. And then you're gonna unhook or set up a new tank. Lucky for us, it's already here. Okay. And you can take this off with scissors. I might just use a razor. Or my hand. Right, so we're using ultra high pure argon which is pretty expensive sometimes. Uh, I don't know what it is. But then you want to go ahead and loosen. Oh wait, I think it's this way. There we go. Woo! That's been on there for like two months. <laughs> so once it's disconnected, right to the new one. Go ahead and tighten this right in there. Once you can't tighten it with your hand anymore, get all the way. Then you can start using the wrench. All right, and that's easy for us to read that. So then you're gonna open this in the opposite order. The way we closed it, now we're gonna open it the other way. First, gonna open this tank. Great, it should be around 2,500 PSI. That red mark you can see is right at 2,500, so that's perfect. Open this all the way. And open this one all the way after. All right, then we go back over here. And now we can, uh, first we're gonna turn the vacuum pump on in the functions menu. We're gonna turn circulation back on. And we're gonna decrease this pressure back down to five and 2.5. Five max, 2.5 min. 